Hello and welcome to Who Knows the News, the show which discusses three topics of this week. So why not get started? That's a rhetorical question by the way, guys. Okay, the first topic today this week is Star Wars UK. So as you may have gathered from the title, that is the that the giant successful film known as Star Wars. I've never heard of Star Wars, dude. Chop, get out. You have no part in this topic if you don't know what Star Wars is. Oh, good. Now the story first today is that the next Star Wars movie is to be filmed in the UK. This got me thinking. You know with Doctor Who, they had that one episode with Matt Smith on Starship UK, right? How awesome would that be if they combined that with Star Wars? <laughs> be awesome, right? Having Matt Smith and Obi-Wan Kenobi working together. It'd be priceless. So here's the first question today. Which celebrity do you think would be an awesome Star Wars character? I mean, Matt Smith could go with anyone, really. Anywhere. Put him in EastEnders. God, you're in for a funny ride. Just imagine Matt Smith in, like, a soap. Just brilliant. Put him in a detective, and he's even better, isn't he? I mean, like, he looks like the person with a magnifying glass and a fog watch and a, a monocle. <laughs> he'll, he's, and he's even better or something, like a documentary where... Ah, uh, maybe, maybe not that one. Leave your answers down in the comments below. Dude, can I come back yet? In a minute, Job. Okay, the second thing today is migrating a T-Rex. Can I come on back now? Okay, fine. Awesome, dude. Where are we? We're just starting the second topic, and it's your one, mate. Oh, awesome, man. Yeah, like so, this dinosaur has been smuggled into America, man. Why the hell would someone smuggle a dinosaur into America? Surely it must be over the weight limit. Oh, right. I mean, the bones, dude. You could say that next time. Anyway, bruv. They are returning it to Mongolia, man. Why Mongolia? Must be dino infested, bruv. If you say so, child. If you say so. Well, hey. Wouldn't it be awesome to have some kind of apocalypse, man? Do you know what makes things more fun? An apocalypse. Life is much more interesting. What? You know, like zombies. What's that got to do with dinosaurs? Um, they come back to life, dude. So here's the question, man. Would you dudes want to see a zombie apocalypse? This topic is so stupid. Just like you, man. Hey, I'm not stupid. This is your topic. Would you let me do it, bruv? Yes. Yes, unfortunately, I did. Which is why I am going to move on to the next topic of today. Unfortunately. Fortunately for you guys, though, is the final topic, which is... How do you sell a Banksy? So another one of Banksy's art for an auction again, which actually makes no sense. This is because quite a lot of his artwork is sprayed around a couple of buildings in Bristol, meaning they don't physically exist on their own themselves. So the question is kind of predictable here. Say you win the auction to own Banksy's paintings. How the hell do you get a hold of it? Would you like cut it off the wall or something that the art is on? Or do you now own the building it's on, like Monopoly? God, if Monopoly was like that, it would just make absolutely no sense at all, so I'm going to give up on that idea. Or do you just get nothing? It's almost like you've been completely ripped off. God, that seems like a Bristol person, right? Ridiculous stuff. If any of you have answers to this, let me know, because this thing is really puzzling me. Even more than Chod. So you know there's an issue there, don't you? Shout out time, dude. This week's shout out goes to James Evangelical 100 the channel which is happy to share views across through a number of videos. Kind of just like this show in a sense, isn't it? I mean, like, I do a video, three topics, three opinions, three questions. More than three answers, maybe? That'll do. <laughs> like last week's Mr. Karen Guy, this person is also a long-term friend to me, Mr. Bevel Zone 5, maybe even over a year, in fact. So why not go and check him out down there? Just click that link below to find him. That's all you have to do. That's all for this week, guys. Join me next week for more stuffy stories for you. In the meantime, you'll see a story for next week's episode that you would like. Then message me or comment below if you'd like to see it in the next episode, obviously. Same if you would like a shout-out. 
Thanks for checking out another episode of Who Knows News, and I'll see you next time on Mr. Ben 175.